which is better, used or new violin? Hi, I'm violinist Heather Kay. I work with dedicated adult violinists who desire to develop impeccable technique and play with gorgeous tone. I started off with this question because of my 11 years I've been teaching online, I have been asked this question enough times <laughs> to dedicate a video to this question. First off, never, never, never ask this question if you want to be perceived as an informed, educated violinist. <laughs> a violin is not a car. It's not, oh, which is better, to buy a used car or a new car? This question absolutely does not relate to the world of violins at all. So if you get one thing from this video, never ask this question. For years, when I got asked this question, I just didn't even waste my time to answer it. This is why I have created this video. So now when people ask me this question, I can just send them the link to watch this video. Why should you never ask this question? <laughs> Let's get into that. This is the violin that I play on. I recently acquired it and it is from 1814. You would consider this a used violin, <laughs> but unlike cars, good violins that are used or older are actually more expensive and more valuable. If it's a good violin, since you are asking this question, I suspect you are about to play the violin. You want to play the violin and you don't know anything about violins. The best advice I can give you is actually at the beginning of your violin journey is to rent a very good violin as opposed to purchasing one for $50 or $100 or $150 because when you start off on the violin, if your equipment is faulty, you can get discouraged very, very, very easily. The lower quality instrument is harder to play. So if you want to save your time and energy, if you truly are interested in playing the violin and dedicated to this journey, then I would suggest renting a very good violin from a reputable luthier. Then you can discover after three months of playing on that violin, if you want to continue on the journey or not. If not, you can return the violin to where you rented it from. The other plus of renting a violin at the start of your violin journey is that you'll get a better quality instrument for less of the cost. So instead of asking the question, hmm, which is better used or new? It's better to ask the question, what is the best quality violin I can afford at the beginning of my violin journey? What exactly is your budget? If your budget is less than $1,500, I would suggest renting. Don't give yourself the headache of having to learn on a $50 instrument $100 instrument or $150 instrument. If you're truly dedicated and you have the budget, purchase something that is going to make your life easier <laughs> or, or you can rent. So that is my answer to the question, used or new. Instead, ask the question, what exactly is your budget? And go from there to rent or own at the beginning of your violin journey. Once you've gotten your violin, go ahead and enroll in my program, Learn Violin in 90 Days, which walks you through note reading, scales, violin hold, bow hold, playing pieces in 90 days 
on the violin. I'll leave a link here in the upper right hand corner and also in the description below. Wishing you all the success in your violin journey. Ciao!